Welcome to this B1 Printer Livery e-learning session on report actions of email where we look at the exchange setup. So here we are in business one on the report action email and our topic of today is down here with the client delivery method and the server delivery method. Exchange is the sort of third option biom introduced in the system. In the beginning, we only had Outlook and you needed an Outlook client on your machine in order to work. Then SMTP was uh, introduced, which is just the basic protocol of SMTP. Any SMTP provider can be used. And then we have Exchange, which is Microsoft Exchange. Uh, most people in the old days had it in an on-premise Exchange server. We still support those as well. Uh, but most people nowadays use Office 365 and there you need something called modern exchange setup. So this is a fairly big topic, so we won't uh, do everything in this video. There will be separate e-learning on modern exchange and there will be se separate e-learning on what is called personal exchange. Um, but this is the high level overview and then you will dive deep into these two videos as well uh, if you want to do it. So, as we can see here in my system, I don't have any exchange servers, and I actually don't have access to one right now, so I can't set this up uh, live and show it to you. So what we will do is we will actually just use the help, because that is what we do, do if you didn't have this video. And in here we have the report action, and exchange configuration and personal exchange for that matter is its own separate session because it's uh, a various uh, advanced setup. We can quickly see it in here that if we press this one, we get to a screen where you can set up either modern authentication, meaning Office 365 against Azure AD, or basic authentication, which can be used on-premise now. Uh, in the old days, it could also be used with Office 365, but Microsoft has deprecated this, so we can't do it anymore. But let's see it from here, in that what we show here is the modern authentication. And the modern authentication is mostly for security reasons. Uh, so all uh, credentials and things are up in the, in the system, so there's no username and password involved right here. Yeah, you still give them here, but you have the option to turn everything off uh, up in Azure AD. So that is the, the, the one option, and as you see here, you, we pressed F1, uh, we went in to the exchange, and then there's this video here, which, uh, let me have it over here, that goes to first a page about what it's all about, when, the death, uh, when it happened, it was back in October 2021, uh, and a video that goes to every single detail on how this go, uh, right. where you Getting go these. in. Uh, and how do you get these client IDs and tenant IDs? Uh, it goes to how you go to your Active Directory admin center, get the IDs, set up an app and everything. Uh, and I will leave that video uh, for you to explore on your own exactly how to do this. But if you have normal or basic, sorry for calling it normal, uh, it's not the, it's the new normal to have the modern one, uh, but if you had the old one, uh, you would simply just specify the ASMX, which was uh, how Exchange could be called, uh, server. And this was the Office 365. This will technically not work anymore unless you have some deprecated setup uh, by Microsoft. You gave your credentials and uh, you uh, gave what Exchange version it was uh, that the system was running with an optional from mail, uh, you don't need it in, in exchange because it will know what credentials you gave and will normally use that as from email. Um, so that was fairly simple to set up. The modern setup is fairly more advanced, but again, all in the uh, in the major uh, thing about having better security. So Microsoft decisions, uh, but again, if you have an on-premise, use BASIC. If you use Office 365, use Modern Authentication. Uh, and there's nothing more to it, really. You just set it up, and it can do a little more than SMTP in that if we have a look in here, you can see there is an Exchange Safe as Draft. 
So while SMTP cannot save a draft, there is no concept of a draft. Outlook can do it, but SMTP can't. Exchange can, so you can choose should it send directly or should it just uh, save as draft. The drawback of Exchange is, of course, that if you just use it as is here, it will always send from a specific email. Um, you can use the dynamic syntax in the from mail, uh, that is possible, but uh, it's all a matter of opinion how you send your, your documents. Should it come from one central uh, email account at my company, or should it come from the personal uh, person who's, uh, who made the sales order? It's a, a bit about uh, personal preference versus uh, automation versus uh, corporate versus uh, the, the human touch. So we don't design for you, but if you use Exchange, it's always coming from a shared inbox. And uh, as that is, the draft will also go into a shared inbox. Meaning that if I go to my Outlook, it will not be in my draft folder. It will be in the Exchange shared folders draft folder. So if you want to use Exchange and draft, you either need to have access to that shared folder or uh, have it to only the accountant if it's a small company or use the personal Exchange, which will cover in a separate e-learning session. But this is all there is to exchange. It's more powerful than SMTP. So if you want uh, more control, more bounds, uh, information and such things, uh, use it. Else, if you just ha want to have it quick and dirty, SMTP is way faster to set up. But that's entirely up to you. And that's the reason why Print and Leary is so flexible. You decide exactly how you want to set it up. So with that, thank you for attending. See you in the next one.